Leslie, tell me about your Cognitive Analytics Initiative. So we, we've been using ANCOBA as our methodology for measuring sales effect, the effect of sales, advertising on sales. And basically what you do is you take exposed households during the campaign and you find for every exposed household you find a matched unexposed household and you, um, and you make them perfectly matched so all their purchases in the prior year line up. So you're finding two people that are very similar. And I was going to ask you how you match. Um, so the first criteria is buying. How did they buy for the last year? Um, we also match demographics and race and, and all kinds and media consumption and all kinds of other pieces. But in television, when reach is high, there isn't a very good group of unreached households. And they're different. They, they're, they're really not your target and they are strange, you know, light TV viewers. So they're not representative and it's hard to find a good match. So. Um, it, this is not a, tr a, a problem in digital. Digital, we don't have those kind of reach problems. Um, but in TV, we do. We have been using other techniques and decided that this was an opportunity to really step up. So we created Cognitive Analytics and it has several key characteristics. One is it's a dating, data mining technique. So it's not a researcher attempt it, attempting to, to create a model and testing different models and deciding which model they like. Cognitive analytics comes out with an answer and you're kind of stuck with its answer. It's gone through a rigorous process and it came up with the answer and it's really hard to get it to move off of its answer. Um, it uses, um, it, it has a couple key features. One is it looks at the purchase occasion. And it says, for this purchase occasion, let's look back in time and see when it, what happened prior to this purchase. How many exposures to television did I have? Or digital, or digital and television, and radio, or all those kinds of things. So what were all the, the, the influences? Was it on deal? Was it on feature? Did you have a coupon? All those kind of influences we have up to the moment of purchase. So we're looking at exposed versus unexposed, but we're looking at the matching purchases that happened roughly at the same time with all the same characteristics going back, but you're only looking at people who were exposed a week before or a month before or a quarter before. And that gives you the ability to really find unexposed households, um, and it does a very good job of that. And COVA, is able to take care of the issue around targeting. So you say, well, exposed households, if I've targeted brand buyers, I'm going to have a very high high concentration of brand buyers among my purchase uh, people who are exposed. And now I match them to people who were not exposed, and those are non-brand buyers. Of course, the brand there's going to be more sales among the exposed but you started out by targeting those people, so you're going to get a better response. You know, I mean, whether or not they bought any more due to advertising, that number is going to be higher. So one of the big concerns is that you really take care of targeting. Cognitive Analytics has a unique approach to this. We create, it creates two models. The first model is a model of exposure, and it says, what's the likelihood that you would get in, each household would get an ad based on all the characteristics they have. So we see who got the exposure, and it, use, it models the likelihood of getting a, an exposure based on all your characteristics. It then models the likelihood of buying the brand based on all your prior characteristics, and then puts them together. So we're able to say the effect of the advertising irrespective of the target. Now, if you have a better target, you'll have higher response, but not because we haven't taken out the effect of the targeting. So we take out the effect of the targeting, and that's the value of the advertising that you placed. So Cognitive Analytics builds on this data mining. It, has, um, it uses many, many models. 
So it has, I think we're up to 10 or 11 models that it goes and looks at the results of and chooses and melds and puts those models together into the best statistical model for each of the pieces, exposure and purchase, and puts them together.